please help me welcome up Dr. Aurora tonight. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Venus Fair um, organizers. And thank you to everyone that's been sharing their evening with us here. I know I'm not supposed to scare anybody today, but I do have to start off with that. Because that is what motivated me to look for a different answer to, a, to different solutions. So to give you a little bit of a background, I am a traditionally trained psychiatrist, both in adult and geriatric psychiatry. I've been doing this since, believe it or not, since 1999. But it's only in the last five years that I had my awakening. And the reason for that is because and after doing this, this work for a number of years, I began to realize that I wasn't really helping. I was managing most of the times. And, and as Lucas just mentioned, that when you have that intention and when you're looking for different answers, the universe did open up with some answers to the questions that I was having. And I uh, came across some really interesting people who had these questions maybe 30 years, 40 years ago and have looked into different modalities, different uh, ways of helping people that are struggling with mental illness. So the scary part, these are the latest statistics that I came across. The number one thing that that actually was, I think it's laughable, if, it, if not scary, is that 50% uh, of US adults will experience mental illness during their lifetime. So half of the people in this room are supposed to be having symptoms of mental illness. <laughs> I don't buy that because mental illness is overdiagnosed. I think we have come to a situation in, in time where a normal range of emotional experiences, whether it is in children or if with adults, we are too quick to pathologize it and too quick to uh, label it, diagnose it, and want to give a pill. Uh, the other thing that really uh, shook me is that in 1975, autism and autism spectrum illnesses were being diagnosed at a rate of one in 5,000. But today, it is 1 in 68 if you combine both boys and girls, and 1 in 42 if you just look at boys. So why is this happening? It's not just increased diagnosis, as many psychiatrists like to think. It is because a lot of things have changed. We are living in an increasingly toxic environment. We are, living, we are consuming foods and other chemicals in the form of cosmetics, uh, convenience foods and so many other things that are not really healthy for us and this is affecting the most vulnerable which is our children our infants and our young kids and also the elderly both ends of the spectrum we are we are um, destroying them but the good news is that there is a way out of this this morass that we find ourselves in and it's not rocket science it takes time but it is Going back to the basics, what does a child or an adult with um, a problem need? They need love, they need connections, they need nutrition to support their growth or maintain and repair their aging cells. It really is as simple as that. And time and time again, now I've been doing integrative psychiatry, I would say, for the last three years, I, the first couple of years after my awakening were spent in learning about what it is that I had to do. Then the next year was spent in fighting the establishment. <laughs> Realized that, that wasn't, I wasn't going to be able to change the system from within. So last year I walked out, took that leap of faith that our Mr. Nightlight just talked about. And yes, the universe does open up, gave me incredible opportunities, gave me in, came, brought me into contact with people like, like yourselves and I haven't looked back. My um, job satisfaction has gone up, and I, um, and I feel really good about being not just a psychiatrist, but a healer as well. So simple rules, going back to the basics, and there is a way for people to find stability, mental and physical. Thank you. Mm -hmm.